If you're looking to get started with an Aptos wallet, you're in the right place. In this video, we will provide you with an easy Petrol wallet tutorial for beginners. We will show you how to deposit, swap, and explore the Aptos network. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and let's dive straight into it. Now to begin with my friends, we are currently on the Petrol Wallet website where you are now going to choose which device you would like to set up your wallet on. As you can see, you can learn everything you need to know about the Petrol Wallet all on this website of which you should always conduct your own research and of course never take anything as financial advice because we are not financial advisors. Therefore, once you're ready guys, I'm going to be choosing mine which is the Chrome Web Store as you can see it will take us directly over here of which you can give it a full review as well as of course the overview X, Y and Z. However, once you're ready, I'm going to add it and as you can see in a second it is going to load up and it is going to be added into the top part of our extensions. Now before we go ahead and set up our wallet what we want to do is in the top right corner you're going to see all of my other wallets and you're going to see a little jigsaw piece puzzle. If you head over to that jigsaw piece puzzle and you scroll down and you see the Petra Aptos wallet you want to hit that little pin icon because now you can see your little Petra wallet is up top along the others and you can slide it across left or right in order of relevance so if you want it at the front by all means you can do so so you can open it up at any given time so once we're ready guys we're now going to choose out of the three options on the right hand side because i've moved my camera which we can use to create a petra wallet first we've got the create a new wallet option of which is for those who are brand new second we've got the import which is for those who are already existing and want to of course carry on with the wallet that they've already got or you can continue with a gmail account of which i personally wouldn't recommend but it's entirely up to you i like the old school method of utilizing a seed phrase and if you want to use that method in my opinion it's more secure and therefore that is exactly what we're going to do in this video so step one is to very simply create a password so make sure that you've written this down make sure you know it off by heart and make sure that you don't lose this because if you ever need to get into your wallet and you can't remember your password you're going to need your seed phrase so it's very important that you remember your password and your seed phrase but we'll get to that in a second so first step create a strong password next as you can see guys we've got the seed phrase aka the secret recovery phrase this 12 word phrase allows you to recover your wallet and access the coins inside so basically if anyone else has access to these 12 words they can gain access to your entire portfolio your aptos portfolio and take any coin they want so it's so important that only you have access to this wallet and nobody else so do not write this down on any electronic device do not write this down on your notes on your google gmail or whatever it may be guys if it's powered by electricity it is a no-go it can only be stored offline on a hardware wallet or on a piece of paper guys please 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 do not write this on any technological device don't type it out don't take a screenshot nothing like that please keep it offline and secure make sure you've triple checked the spelling once you've opened it up and of course guys secure it safely and we are now going to move on to the next step once you've written down your 12 words and just a quick thing i don't know why they've got this little copy button that is absolutely ridiculous do not click that whatsoever please 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 that is ridiculous that they have it and i cannot believe it however once you've got it saved we're going to continue and next you need to choose which word is in your 12 word phrase if you don't recognize one then of course you haven't written down the seed phrase properly but of course one of them is going to be here so select the one that is once you've done that continue and now we are ready to begin get the petra app and get your free petra name no more copying and pasting long addresses use your petra name to send and receive coins and nfts now that is very cool that you get a free petra name whereas other domain name services such as ens and sns require you to pay for it so i absolutely love that it's free nonetheless once we're opened up guys we can now head into the extensions tab like i showed you which was that little jigsaw piece puzzle but we've already done that so you can see here guys that we've got zero dollars in our portfolio you can see everything about our wallet which we're going to show you exactly how to use however the first step guys is to very simply get assets into our wallet and there are three options to get tokens into your wallet option one is by utilizing the on-ramp option which you can see here and you can utilize any of these options in order to buy aptos tokens directly into your petrol wallet nice simple and easy and very convenient for anyone brand new Second, we've got the deposit option of which you can transfer from another Aptos wallet or specifically an exchange. So for those who are buying Aptos tokens on, for example, Crypto.com, Binance, OKX, you can move your tokens from that centralized exchange to this wallet, which is the option that we're going to show you. But there's also a third option of which users can bridge over from other networks such as EVM networks and so on in order to get Aptos tokens into their wallet. Nonetheless, we'll save that for a future video, but the simplest and most popular method is by utilizing a centralized exchange. 
And you're now going to see my centralized exchange pop up, which is going to be crypto.com as this example. Now you can replicate this across any centralized exchange because they all basically work the same. So step one is to very simply ensure that you've got your Aptos tokens ready. Next, you're gonna see we've got the transfer option of which I'm now going to select. And you're going to see we've got deposit or withdraw. Deposit will wanna to move tokens into the centralized exchange, whereas withdraw will move tokens out of the centralized exchange to your chosen destination, which is gonna be the petrol wallet. So once we hit withdraw, we're now going to choose external wallet because we are choosing a non-custodial wallet, basically Petra. Next, you're going to see that we've got the option to either A, select the wallet that we've already got set up with Aptos, or B, assuming that it's brand new, we're going to hit that plus icon to add a new wallet address. And this is, of course, the Petrol wallet. So the next step is to head into your Petrol wallet and up the top next to your account name, you will see your wallet address. You now want to copy this. You now want to send it over so that you can receive it into your centralized exchange. As you can see, I'm now going to paste it in my centralized exchange. And we are now going to scroll down, enter all the details, and then we are are now going to choose an amount of which we want to send over so once you've done all of that guys you are then going to see my assets appear in my aptos wallet which will only take literally a few minutes at the maximum so you should actually be able to see on my crypto.com exchange that we've now set it up we just need to select it I'm going to now choose an amount so i'm going to select the maximum and i'm going to withdraw it directly to my petrol wallet boom off it goes withdraw request submitted now all we need to do is wait in the petrol side and we should give or take receive 7.2 five aptos boom as you can see already we've got our aptos tokens roughly that 7.25 like i was saying 34 dollars and 25 cents to be precise now what can we do from here guys well the world is your oyster on the aptos network now so from here the first thing i want to show you is how to swap tokens on petra so in the middle section you'll be able to see a little swaps icon Next, you're going to see that we've got our available Aptos tokens, which you can see up top, we are going to be swapping Aptos, the token up top we are paying with, and down below is the token we are buying, of which we are going to receive. So if we select where it says USDT, you can choose any token here of which you want to swap into. You can even search for a token up top. However, if you have a token in mind or if you want some stable coins, by all means, the choice is entirely yours. Let's just say for a tutorial, we use USDC. Next, I'm just going to choose an amount. I can either choose one of these automatic ones, which is 25, 50, 75% or max, or I could very simply choose an amount of which I want to swap. Let's say I swap one Aptos into USDC. As you can see, you hit that swap button and boom, straight away it's going to go directly into your wallet. Fantastic, it literally took half a second. And as you can see, we've now got USDC as well as Aptos. And if at any time you want to swap it, guys, head back into the swapping section, reverse it, choose USDC up top, ensure whichever token you want to swap into, if it's back into Aptos, you choose it. I'm going to do the maximum amount this time and swap it all back into Aptos. Fantastic, that's exactly how it's done. So, you know how to swap on the Petrol Wallet, you know how to deposit tokens. What's next? Well, the next thing I want to show you is if you go up into your account by going to the settings, going to the rename, we just want to enter a nice little name so it's just not account one, but it could be Theo, it could be whatever you want. After that, guys, next, you can very simply head over to the library. You'll be able to see all of your NFTs of which you may have collected or may collect in the future. If you are looking for NFTs, here, they provide you with a bunch of NFT marketplaces such as Rarible, Tradeport, Waypal, and BlueMove.net. If you want to utilize any of those, by all means, the option is yours. After that, guys, in the activity section, here you'll be able to see all of the transactions that you do and will ever do. So, for example, if I sent Aptos or if I received Aptos, if I swap tokens, here you're going to see all of the activity that you will have. Next, in the explore section, this is my favorite part of the wallet because it enables us to explore the Aptos ecosystem without having to leave the wallet whatsoever. So if you're looking for liquid staking or gaming or decentralized exchanges or any sort of protocol, guys, you can see a whole bunch of different protocols in which you can utilize directly from the petrol wallet. So let me show you. For example, if, for example, I wanted to go over to, I don't know, PancakeSwap, a very popular protocol on the BNB chain, Ethereum and Aptos, it will take you directly over here. You can very simply get yourselves logged in. As you can see, we've got Petra. And now, as you can see, we can utilize the PancakeSwap decentralized exchange with Petra on Aptos. So, again, I'm going to swap some of my Aptos tokens. Let's say I swap another one. This time, I'm going to swap either into cake tokens or whichever tokens I can see available on PancakeSwap. So this time, I do want to swap into cake. Cake is the native token of the PancakeSwap decentralized exchange. 
as you may have guessed. I'm going to hit that sort button, confirm, and it is all done just like that in a matter of seconds. Honestly, Aptos is one of the fastest networks out there. I absolutely love it, and you guys are probably going to love it too. So friends, that is very well the Petrol Wallet in a nutshell. If you need any other help whatsoever, you can let us know in the comment section down below just by asking a question. You know exactly how to utilize the Petrol Wallet to explore, swap, deposit, withdraw, and everything that you'd need to do on the Aptos network. Friends, we're going to be back in the Aptos ecosystem showing you decentralized exchange tutorials and other airdrop tutorials and other protocol tutorials. So be sure to stay tuned, turn on that notification bell. If you have any content requests and you want any tutorials, let us know in the comment section down below friends we're here for every single one of you and we appreciate every single one of you who tunes in thank you so much once again and we'll catch you in the next video